you know greetings viewers and subscribers if you're the righteous messenger and add a pastor once again i'm on for today a day here i won't talk about you know the nana agrada issue her repentance because now nana agrada they come out to you know publicly announce that she's a changed person she's no longer a traditional priestess but you know a christian more so an evangelist yeah someone who preaches or you know spreads the word of god or jesus christ the salvation message mouthful a day here i want to ask is nana agrada's transformation the repentance is he is he genuine or is it fake because that's what majority of the people are contemplating out there is nana agrada repentance genuine or fake yeah so people are mindful i've been following developments concerning this nana agrada you know issue with uh, Sikagari initially I was attracted because you know I didn't like the idea that people were being scammed or people were being duped of you know their hard and money yeah but this thing has developed into something else Nana Agrada were arrested initially I thought as well that it was because she she had her, her documents you know her papers to run the tv station you know were out of date so she was um apprehended or arrested but then i sit down and i think again why would somebody ar be arrested just because her documents in running a tv station are out of date you know that person gets slapped with a fine you find them and you ask them to you know go and update the documents yeah but as soon as they arrest them she come out and now she talks say she's changed a month for and now grad i say she changed you she's no longer a comfort she's no longer a fetish priestess yeah and i see some of the videos the way she was holding on to her bible you know really clutching onto the bible like a, a, a soldier you know clutching holding on to an ak-47 a month for you know she changed the way she dresses you know um, for if you did social media or if you know you know that you know the way she dresses and all those stunts on social media she did come even you know i don't know if she did twerk or so, some things like that you know but now she talks say she changed i'm out for it's a good thing yeah say somebody changed from duping or scamming people yeah to you know probably helping people you understand because i'm out for really really more help each other you know i don't like the word scam i don't like when i hear say somebody this scam somebody because i won't do that i don't want to do that and i don't want that to be done to me and you know when i look at nana agrada i'm thinking that look you see these questions come to mind all these things that she's doing is it an act you see it looks like it's a script that has been written for her and she's acting it i'm on for i'm not saying this is the situation but that's what it looks like you know to me when i see the videos and i see nana agrada talking yeah i don't really see any repentance apart from what she's saying and how can we just believe what you're saying you know my father beg bear with me these questions they come to mind so all these happenings or development with nana agrada she got arrested the same because um uh, tv lines were out of date but then you know and they hear to say she's got court cases regarding this Sika Gary's calm that she's performed on people, you know. Yeah, so I, I don't really understand how these court cases were, 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 were established. Is it that people have gone to court and sued her? Is that the government has found that, that she was duping or scamming people and you know taking her to court for that? I really don't know 
how these court issues came about but the information in the air was how she got arrested and they saying that it's because her tv licenses had run out of date you know most of the time if i didn't look these stories i didn't think ah, is this thing planned from her arrest release press conference the story she's giving us now her burning you know uh, her gods or you know these artifacts in a shrine is, is are these things all planned you know because it looks like it's planned a month for what do you think and that's what you know the majority of people out there think because i've been you know trying to look at videos review videos look at comments coming in and i'm out for you know majority of the people think nana agrada is performing another scam mm. you know is she trying to escape justice is she trying to buy our sympathy by telling us that look i used to do these things but i'm a changed person now and according to the christian religion or the christian faith she deserves to be forgiven because she says she said i've changed i've accepted christ you know but when it comes to the rule of law which i believe in yeah i believe in the rule of law yeah that if she's committed these crimes if she's duped people if she's come people and it's against the laws of the land or the country she must be punished you know whether she 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 she, she claims she has changed or not she has to be punished if she's duped or scammed people a man for if she defrauded people you know but it talks in the court case day and another thing to be say if you hear what's going on japan come out can't talk to you, he's got incriminating evidence or you know voice recordings that on on Nana Agra that when he came to see him sometime yeah and he is saying that this woman had already told him that she's bought a church you see so if they ask him, is this thing planned why would you buy a church in hand a lot of people start preaching this word or this bible and you know they, 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 they don't have a church you know they don't even think they'll be able to buy or establish or build a church but they just do it believing that look things are going to you know happen for them if they keep on doing it but this woman has already bought a church she didn't buy a church because she wanted to donate it for the community for the people you know to go in there and do whatever they want to do why did she buy a church she bought a church because she wants to go into ministry. Man, for you know, right now, Nana Grady Tucker says she be evangelist Patricia Odro Kroatin. Man, for you see, we cannot deny her this, yeah. We cannot deny her a change of heart, yeah, a change of mindset, yeah, a change of faith. But me, righteous messenger, it talks a look somebody to change their faith or changing faith is not something you do in five minutes you know unless something catastrophic or a major event in your life you know directs you to that path and nana grad getting arrested and spending a day or two in cells is that a major event to change her is that a major event to say look let go of this Sikar Gaifim or this traditional religion and follow follow the Christian path. You see, like I can't really, you know, you know, make up my mind concerning what's going on with this Nana Agrada thing. Because you see, Nana Agrada, I know you see, I've heard her talk about the gospel, I've heard her quote scriptures. The time she was addressing Avram Moshe for, you know, speaking against Zika Garino. She used scriptures. You know, her husband is a pastor. Yeah. A man for. 
Does that mean she was already on the road to becoming a Christian? Before they ask who, why they ask? Because, um, see, we don't want to judge people like that, you know. We won't look at the facts, you know. We won't look at, you know, events, happenings, you know. And most of the time, what the person is saying as well. But Anna Agrada, is she to be trusted as karma? Someone who was duping people for a living. You know? And I think I will talk to say, Charlie. Right now, we just have to, you know, give it time. Look at this woman. See what she's going to do with, you know, this her new calling. Yeah? Because you say she's an evangelist. Do you know what an evangelist is? Huh? Agrada. <laughs> Come on for what are they talk be say to me, you know, the way Nana Agrada is going on is like she's following a script. Yeah. That has been written for her. But I could be wrong. Yeah. So we just need to give her time, follow her, see how she develops, sees what goes on, you know, after her coming and declaring herself, you know, a child of God or a follower of Jesus Christ now, you know, and the thing is, she's saying she's repented. You know, a lot of people, they ask this question and they ask as well, is she going to, you know, get rid of or give back, you know, what she's gained, all the property she's acquired through the traditional religion, you know, and through this this scheme where she was coming people see Gary, all that she's made during that time is she going to give it away is she going to give it to charity is she going to sell these things and give it to an orphanage you see nana grada the things we really they talk or ask you know as critical thinkers or free thinkers is you see like the people that she's duped and the people who are coming forward and saying look i got doomed duped or scammed by your sister is she going to pay them back what she took from them to me this is real repentance you know be say you just start somewhere say some cheap words and claim i'm changed i'm a new person and then the people that you caught pain and hurt it to are still you know living through that pain she has to give back this money that she's scammed from people back to the people you know and as nana grad and the time she was a traditional priestess now i'm sure all this come she's 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 come people do she must remember the people because obviously they will come before her and give her the money and then she will try and you know double the money like the way we've seen in the advert or on tv yeah she must remember these people's faces so if somebody come and say look i brought you money to be doubled and i didn't get you know what um you promised she has to pay that person back you know because she says she, she change mom for what do they think i they beg leave comments i think way they worry me be say look you know uh she says she's an evangelist now yeah and what i know is evangelists don't necessarily own churches if you're an evangelist you know it's not important or you don't have to own a church because you're just spreading the gospel you're just preaching the word of this you know jesus christ or you know christianity and you can do this in all, all sorts of you know platforms or different ways you can set up you know a loudspeaker and all that just in the street somewhere and start preaching you can be a televangelist meaning you have your tv station like agrada already has she just has to change you know her direction towards christianity yeah or she can just do it on social media yeah but i don't know if nana agrada is going to open a church because the information is she has already bought a church yeah you know from one pastor apparently called a pie life yeah 
She's bought a church a month for. So if the now grandad is going to open a church and start taking tithes and offerings again, what's the change? Hmm. A month for we just have to you know wait and see what happens you know. We wait, monitor this nana grada you know see if she's really changed see if she's still going to continue duping people to christianity because me righteous messenger we are the day at the city you know and the christian is just come god is passed this out that is coming people to become rich she was coming people through the traditional religion and now she's saying that she's gone to christianity which is another form of scam you know but like I thought we didn't look at things from all angles and you know another thing that worries me is, is that like she's saying she's an evangelist you know has she got any any form of training you know or you don't, do you need training to become an evangelist I'm a, I don't know I'm not a Christian you know but she they talk say she's an evangelist she accepted Christ how many days ago she's telling her she's an evangelist or maybe she was doing things behind closed doors and we don't know you know but i think where they happy where you they make me happy sika gary is no more that sika gary's scam is over yeah it's over i'm really happy about that you know and if nana agree that she be true to herself and true to what she's saying she has to you know find the people that she's scammed and pay them back uh, you know whatever she duped us come off them you know and you know these things where she did been ben did been ben some some is it, is it necessary it's not necessary a month for even if you go do that why do you have to do it on on so so that it, it's, it's on social media it's like for it's, it's all a show it, it looks like it's all a show you know mm. hey well, I'm out for to end this we have a love talk say look what nana agrades faith is it's, it's her own you know personal you know problems or you know that's her own personal issues that's her faith you know why should it be flaunted in our faces you know why should she you know flaunt in our faces but anyway you know all these things they do concerning her religion her faith her gods and that you know if to me she's genuine about it she has to keep it to herself other than that it's just mind games it's mind game that that she's been playing all the time and i agree the kind of talk say oh it's like you know i got in trouble you know with this you know i don't know when she got arrested in that people that she expected to help her you know you know um betrayed her and because of that you know it was only god that she, all these things are just stories you know to, to 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 you know play my games on people this is the way i see it if you are really changed what don't you just you know go into your little abode yeah and contemplate about what's going on in your life stay away from the social media but if you're right now with charlie she even display herself on all fronts of social media is he an act? A man for we live to see, you know. What really concerns me say Nana Agada should pay back, you know, all who are falling victim to Sikagari. She has to do that. For me to accept that she's really changed or she's repented, she needs to pay back these people that she's scammed. Yes. I'm for your boy the righteous message that we are come past you once again and you know thank you for viewing this video. I'll see you soon in the next video. Peace. Bye.